What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today, I'm gonna show you how to hide the camera cutout on your Galaxy S23 Ultra, right up there at the top, uh, if you're interested in doing so. And there are some situations where it might be useful and you might find it more enjoyable to have the camera cutout hidden. We'll talk about how to do that here in a second. Before I get started, I wanna remind you guys if you're interested in the wallpaper, or the icons I'm using, I will drop the link in the description to show off those icons and wallpapers as usual. If you haven't bought an S23 Ultra yet, check out my link below. You can still get a mystery box from me, uh, which comes with a free case, phone stand, etc. if you buy one through my link if you haven't bought a phone yet. And uh, as usual, a little quick case check. This is the Galaxy S23 Ultra in lime green, which kind of looks like a mixture between yellow and lime. I just got this color. This is probably gonna be my personal phone. The case is the official Samsung clear case. People always wanna know about that kind of stuff. So with that out of the way, all those links are below. Let's get right into it. So why would you want to do this? Well, first of all, there's a lot of good reasons. First of all, if you watch a lot of video, you might want to hide the camera cutout to make your video more immersive. Doing it's very simple, but Samsung did change where you do this from last year. So if you go into the settings, go to display, scroll down a little bit, uh, this used to be in the full screen app section, but you'll notice now full screen apps actually does not have the camera cut out anymore. It's actually right below the full screen app section. You'll find it right there where it says camera cutout. So if you tap on that, you can see obviously what it looks like with the camera cut out. Uh, obviously we can see that because that's how it is by default. And then when you hide the camera cut out, it basically puts a black bar up here. So you're actually going to have less usable screen, less screen real estate if you do that. Now, the nice thing is Samsung used to make it so they could either turn this on or turn it off, and then it would apply to everything. Some, obviously, you probably don't want this on the main UI, like on your home screen. This is gonna take up space. It's not gonna show your full wallpaper, things like that. But now you can do it on a per app basis. So you can see like all the apps I have installed right now, I can choose to do this or not. Now, the reason you might want to do this, it's very simple to do it on a per app basis. And the reason you might wanna do it is for video, some people find the uh, camera cutout to be quite annoying inside of YouTube. And so if we go in here, go to YouTube, um, we can go to show camera cutout or hide camera cutout. So if I go to hide camera cutout, and then let's see, I go into YouTube. Let me first pick an account. Like I said, I just got this uh, new lime green S23 Ultra. So it is brand new. Uh, let's check out a video. Let's see. Um, maybe somebody's got some. I like to watch a little slot channels. I don't know. Here's some sports stuff. So now if I watch this in landscape mode, you'll notice that if I zoom in on it, doing the pinch to zoom, that now you've got the black bars and it doesn't extend all the way to where the camera cutout is. So some people prefer that because if you look at it, with the camera cut out the other way, let's actually go back and do it the other way. If I go to show camera cut out and I go back and we watch a video, let's just choose this basketball video. And then we zoom in using the pinch to zoom. Now you see the camera cutouts right in the middle of the action. So it's really up to you how you, you know, feel about whether or not this is particularly annoying when you watch a video but some people find it to be less immersive uh, when they have the camera cut out there. And so you can easily change this. I personally tend to leave it on auto. It doesn't really bother me too much in any of the media apps, but definitely if you're going to do it, it's nice to have the option to now hide it only in your media apps. If that's something that does bother you, you can hide it only in those media apps like Netflix, YouTube, Hulu, uh, HBO Max, there's like a million streaming apps now, whichever ones that you want to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a very simple tip, but it's one that I know a lot of people are going to ask about. And Samsung did move the location of this to a new place, starting with the Galaxy S23 Ultra. I'm also going to show some other tips about other things you can customize with the top of your device up here in the notification area. Show some cool things you can also do, like enable LED notifications. So stay tuned for that if you guys are interested and subscribe. Uh, like, comment, hit the notification icon, future videos like this. Again, if you haven't picked up Galaxy S23 Ultra yet, check out the links below. You can grab that mystery box. Appreciate you guys checking it out. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.